Good afternoon and welcome to City Line. I'm Karen Holmes Ward. Today we bring you the people and the institutions showing the history, beauty, and intricacies of black life through art. We start in Roxbury on the community's campus. We love to say that, you know, the most important word in RCC's title is community, that this college is community. The community actually fought uh, for this college to exist and for it to be, and so it has a special meaning uh, when we say Roxbury Community College. It really is the community's college. The community's college. Celebrating 50 years of supporting students, the neighborhood, and the arts. According to Napoleon Jones Henderson, a nationally acclaimed artist whose work can be seen throughout the Roxbury community, the current RCC campus at 1234 Columbus Avenue was built with space for art creation and exhibition factored into its design. In terms of public art, the college in its inception was conceived to become an art campus actually and that to have works of public art created by artists over the course of the years of the college coming on forward, uh, beginning with the father and son sculpture done by John Wilson, one of the premier American artists, let alone African American artists, who just passed away a few years ago, and the set of doors I did for the college library. Interim President Jackie Jenkins Scott says that art is an important way to honor the legacy of the college. Art is so much a part of RCC because RCC is a part of community and community is culture and culture is community is art. So it has been uh, critically important in the history of our RCC uh, over the 50 years. So we felt it was very important we incorporate art uh, and culture into the 50th anniversary because it's what has made one of the critical things that has made this college unique and special in the college that it is. In November, community muralist Roberto Chow unveiled an 85-foot mural on campus. It's a collaboration of local artists, including RCC students, titled An Ode to Africa in the Americas. It honors the past, present, and future of BIPOC communities. The mural actually got started during COVID and it was a beautiful thing that the artists were able to finish the work and we were able to install it during the 50th anniversary year of the college. So it wasn't you know, planned that way, but it worked out that way. At the start of the 50th year celebration, RCC announced their 50 pioneers, leaders who demonstrated commitment and contribution to the college's success. They named and honored 49 individuals with portraits, the 50th honoree, the Greater Roxbury Community. The college reached out to Jones Henderson and asked him to collaborate with a next generation artist to create a representation of this final pioneer. Not only was it about me, the individual creative person, but it was about me in collaboration with another creative person that then by extension was a collaboration with the whole community because the piece itself is speaking about the history of the 50 years of the struggle of Roxbury Community College. And also it is a piece that Stephen and I have sought to make sure that it embodies the spiritual aspect of the community. Stephen Hamilton, a visual artist and Roxbury native. Like Jones Henderson, weaving and working with textiles is in his repertoire. The final result of the collaboration, a mixed media sculptural piece created with copper sheets shaped to represent pieces of a circle symbolizing no end, covered in bright enamel. Detailed elements reflect both artists' expertise in the woven arts and the use of symbolism. On this day, they're explaining the final steps to display the piece. It'll be, it'll be uh, a structure that's built so to hold it firmly. It's a wall, so to speak. The piece currently stands at 51 inches by 55 inches and is 50 pounds, but it will be elevated on a pedestal and installed in a to-be-announced spot on the campus. 
What really interested me about Napoleon's work was his use of like different mediums and materials. And then also thinking about the way that he incorporates like pattern and symbol into his work. I'm really interested in the way that cloth folds around the body. That's all informed by textile traditions from Africa. First and foremost is the image of the person. And there are numbers of individuals portraits, so to speak, but not portraits in the sense of a recognizable, this is so-and-so, a portrait in the sense that it's a human figure. And that each of those figures in the composition, they represent the entirety of the community. So when anyone looks at that work and look at any one of those human forms, any one of those figures, they're looking at themselves. You see uh, them talking about like common themes, so thinking about issues of knowledge and education um, and the ways in which that's transmitted uh, in our ancestral traditions. So you see Adinkra symbols, you see the throwing of the Opele, which is the divination chain, you see the casting of cowries. So even though these pieces incorporate very different uh, techniques stylistically, the themes are very cohesive. I think one of the interesting things about um, the piece, and sort of what really got me interested uh, in the project, is this idea about like this deep commitment to education, um, but also thinking about its meaning uh, within black communities and its long history within black communities. As RCC enters into its next half century, its future is as bright as the vibrant colors these artists use throughout the campus. That's the beautiful thing about art, is that it allows us to do both, to honor the past, to honor the legacy of those who came before us, but also to envision a future. And what a great way to celebrate RCC's 50th anniversary.